But so my idea, Islam brings peace. Islam, when you say bring peace, yeah. Islam is not a religion of slap me one chick, give you the other chick. Because sometimes in order to bring peace, you have to wage a war. That's why in Islam there's something called jihad, and that is a praiseworthy war. Because, for example, ISIS. ISIS, many countries did negotiate with ISIS to stop the killing and stop what they're doing. But the countries, European countries and the Muslim countries, they have noticed the only way to stop their evil by waging a war. In order to establish peace in Iraq to wage a war, you understand? That is a praiseworthy war to remove the oppressors. And that is Islam. But if yeah. Islam brings peace, how come that in countries where there's the high populations of Muslims have much more war than countries like the West? What, is them themselves? No, no, no. Brother, I told you, can you name me a war between happened between the Muslims in the 50s? I don't know, but no, in the 40s, the Middle East. So, uh, Amir, Amir. So, uh, I'll tell you when. When they, we say, so uh, soon as the American, got, uh, uh, American invaded and got involved in the Middle East, the American problem started. Only in, in the 90s was the first time America invaded. No, but you have to learn. You have to study history. You clearly, you haven't studied history, brother. I know England. Understand? Wait, wait, wait. Before that, before that, before that, brother, brother, brother. Before that, the, before the, uh, who helped and gave Palestine to? Jewish people. Who did that? England. England. And since then, problem starts in the Middle East. But there was a war before in Palestine, even huh? before England. There was between, between, of course, there's a war between England and Muslims. With yeah, the British. True, but also between Muslims and Muslims. Look what's happening even in African Muslim countries. Brother, before we go to that, listen, we don't know there's a, there a war between Christians and the world as well. I between agree. atheists. So that argument is very bad. Firstly, let's say carefully, brother. I'm advocating Christianity. Yeah, no, no, I understand what I'm saying to you, brother. Yeah? What's your name? My name's Shamsi, David. Okay. What I'm saying to you, David, yeah? you have clearly have not studied history. French invaded Algeria in 1831. So what they did, Algeria was civilized before French came to us. French, they raped our brothers and sisters. They struck Algeria for 132 years. Did you, wait, 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 wait. Look, now it's exposing Mohammed now. Wait, wait. wait. Yeah, yeah, before I come to that, before I come to that, uh, listen, let me ask, how come Algerians, the only people, listen, Habibi, how come the only country that speak French, because many countries have been invaded by the Western world. But why is Algeria who speak French? Do you know why? No. He doesn't know. Because the civilized country, La Liberté's country, the French war, uh, country, in 1948, they made a law. You know, Allah will teach Arabic language in the schools. My father, may Allah have mercy, but he didn't know how to read Arabic. He didn't know how to write Arabic because he was not allowed to go to school. Where in Algeria to learn the Arabic language? So the French, they had to impose their language on us. Therefore, the Algerian people, the Arab people, French speak Arabic language. The way they speak Arabic language in the countries, now it's not Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I, I, I refute your arguments, now Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Muhammad Alayhi Salatu Wasallam can never attack any country. They started it first. Let's go to Medina. Medina, when he moved to Medina, Prophet Sallallahu had a treaty with the Yahud, Jewish people there, yes? What is the treaty? The treaty that if anyone attack us from outside, it's upon us to come all together and defend. Okay? That was the treaty. And they wrote it down. They agreed with that. No doubt about that, yeah? What they did, when the all parties came to get together to destroy the Muslims in Medina, minority. Oh, have you heard? Minority, minority. They were minority. They come to destroy them. What the Yahud did? The Yahud betrayed the contract. And they went to, the, uh, to Abu Sufyan and they said, we're going to attack the Muslims from behind. Are you Sunni or Shia? I'm Sushi. I'm Sunni. I'm Sunni. I'm Sunni. I'm Sunni. No, I'm Sunni. No, well, no, listen. Sunni. Sunni. What do you think about Shia? No, before we go. Shia. Shia. David, we're jumping. No, no, no. We're jumping, David. Yeah? No, I know. We're young. No, no, no. Did you know that after that, when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Allah aid him and guess the, the Arabs, the parties, Prophet said, now we go to Banu Quraida. When they went there inside the fortress, Banu Quraida said, we're not going to be happy with anyone's decision. No Muhammad. So don't blame Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu With who? With Sa'd ibn Mu'ad, radiyallahu anhu wa ardah. Sa'd ibn Mu'ad, he was the ally in the pre-Islamic days. They say, oh Muhammad, alayhi salatu salam, let Sa'd ibn Mu'ad to judge us. Sa'd ibn Mu'ad, he came, he said, oh messenger of Allah, if I make a decision, would ever accept it? He said, yes. He said, okay, we kill their man and we keep their children, okay? Now, did you know that this law is in the Torah, in the Old Testament? In the Old Testament, according to the Jewish Bible, if you go to a city 
and that's the, and the city surrounded to you. If the city that is Deuteronomy, if it's Kalamata, I've won a quarter. I've won Baraka Lavikum. Deuteronomy 20, oh, uh, 2021, it says, if you go to city and besiege it, then they surrender to you, kill their man. Another one, kill the little girls, I keep the woman that's the Akaka, yeah, shout him about that. Keep the little one. Uh, huh? أنا من الجزائر وأنا من المغرب ومن فلسطين ومن السعودية ومن كويت أنا مسلم الحمد لله ما في بقى الحمد لله أنا توسي قول هذا Do you understand? So, Alhamdulillah, Ibn Qayyim, may Allah have mercy upon him, he said, he said, when the Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, if you study his history, even against the Romans, the Romans, Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, sent his companion as an ambassador to the Romans, and they killed him. By law, even our time, that is what? Sign of war. You are waging a war. Prophet Muhammad prepared himself. And tell me, in Syria? Neighbors, huh? Huh? I'm from here. Oh, and it's called Arabic. Can you tell me Arabic? شباب شباب انت ما زال شباب يا اخي انت ليش عندك 60 عام ولا ايش قال له شباب وداش تبوخ اخي كالسياره يا اخي والله لك كار ما عندك اني واي ديفيد ار يو مسلم كريستيان ايتيست از ايتيست تو بي اونست يو هاف نو ليك تو ستاند اون تو كريتيسايز نو وان I'm not criticizing. I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah, I understand. But I, 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 I'm saying that because criticizing. No, no, I'm saying like I'm just saying that because what, as an atheist, that we are according to atheistic belief. Because many people who describe ascribe themselves to atheism do not really understand the meaning of true atheism. Atheism, remember, what is it? That we are a product of random reaction of a blind matter. All atheism is saying is that we do not believe in God, but it doesn't mean we know that humankind was created by something else. It, all it says is that it declines the answer of religion. That's not atheism, no. That's a, you are trying to simplify, simplify, uh, simplify athe atheism. Atheism meaning... You know what the, atheism is atheism. Do you know what theism is? Uh, no, atheism believer. Okay. I understand so it's, that. All it's saying no, is no. not believing. No, no. It doesn't, mean that, um, it doesn't mean if you're atheist, you need to believe in evolution. All it's saying no, I'm not saying you believe in evolution. I'm saying, okay, this tremendous creation that we see. Why do you think, why did God create the whole creation? Now, before we say why Allah created the whole okay. universe uh, creation, firstly, it is well established in our, no doubt, deep down, and I'm not saying it because, I know deep down, you doubt yourself that there's no way for us to come with this, us and this beautiful creation I came without. I don't know what created it, but if I tell you that, this, if you tell me this cost you yeah. $10,000, and I say, no, it wasn't $10,000, thousand dollars and you ask me how much did it cost and I say I don't know if I don't know how much it costs do I need to agree with you that it's ten thousand no, no I but can I still tell you I think it's not ten thousand but yet I don't know how much it is so if that's not know, the argument I was talking about the argument you're talking no, about all I'm trying to say is mm. if someone says I do not believe that, that there is a God but yet I still don't know what created the creation it doesn't mean that they need to agree to to the answer you apply no no I'm not uh, listen carefully uh, uh, yeah. what I'm saying my point here is that utilize our right rationality our natural inclination okay. without any doubt okay. that we, this creation must have a creator we don't know no no we know for facts okay and if it does have I tell, a creator, I, 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 you know that's good wait, 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 before before we go to that before we go okay. to there yeah for example the argument Allah, Allah utilized in the Quran would they, would they create by nothing or do they create themselves or did they create the heavens and the earth? Surely they have no firm beliefs. Who created Allah? Uh, before, before you jump in, you keep jumping, uh, David, yeah, step by I step. Just want to bring no, 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 no. Before we step by step, when you want to build a house, you don't put a ceiling first. We'll jump on you and kill you. You put foundation, then the pillars, then the ceiling. How okay? Did you know that the creation so, wasn't here. Wait, 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 wait. Step by step, step by step. When you say the creation was here always. I'm not saying. I'm saying I don't know that it was. No, no, no. Let's analyze that. Let's analyze every claim because deep down you know that is not the case. Because if you said the creation was here always, which part of the creation you and I? Because I, I know I, I did not exist 50 years ago. You did, I, but maybe your ancestors did. Yeah, but which creation that always existed? Me, which one? Matter, nature. Yeah, matter. What is matter? Tell me. Nature. What is nature? You stand on. Yeah, tell me. Tell me what, which one came into existence. They put it together. The, the core of it. Where is the core of it? Tell me. The earth. The earth. Maybe we can it was see. always here. But, but how is earth always here? And 
And now, what is your answer? That God created it, but what created God then? No, okay, this is. Uh, 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 wait, wait. Firstly, before we go to that, I will answer it, no doubt, because it's quite a log logical I agree, argument. I don't have a better answer, but you answer. You know, let me better. finish. But you know, let me finish my point. Go on. Let me finish my point. Okay, my point here is that the, the verse I was quoting to you, would they create by nothing, or they create themselves, or create the heavens and the earth? Surely they have no firm beliefs. Okay. Now we know that nothing, nothingness, no way creates something. Do you agree with that? No. So you believe pure nothingness can create something? Neither. If there is a possibility, it might be the nothingness can Okay, look up to yourself. In our human finite no. minds, we can only see something that was created by a creator. Define nothingness? No pure thing. nothingness. Nothing. So nothing can create me. Such a possibility. Yeah. So there's, there's, there's watch, watch this one. So, wait, 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 no, no, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. So there is possibility yeah. non-existent can create something. But bear in mind, non-existent is not even there to begin with, can it create something. And that's why you, you know what no no, no 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 wait wait. Are you saying that? Yes, I'm saying Take care of yourself, have a nice day. No, it's not. Well lie deep down you know that is falsehood and you know it's battle because you know answer Arabic. Well lie deep down is battle. You know that is a falsehood. Before you create Allah, that is a logical argument. You know why? Why? Because by definition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the the and creator, the, the, the creator and created there. Now but what to, created the creator? Wait, 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 wait. Now this question is Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy upon him mentioned the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He said, Shaitan will come to one of you. He said, who created uh, such and such? He said, Allah. Who created such and such? He said, Allah. Who created such and such? Allah. They said, who created Allah? Prophet Muhammad said, Fa'audu billahi wa shaitan rajim. Why Prophet Muhammad said that? No, like some people thinking, ah, oh, this, you don't want to answer it. No, because it's called, there is no, there is no, and this will become insane. Okay, for example, we know this creation came into existence. Now, if the creator, the creator, needs another creator, by definition, cannot be the creator. It's illogical. I you understand? So, you so you have answered the question. I, I answered your question. You Alhamdulillah. No, wait, 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 wait. There is such a thing that some thing was here always. So why can't no, 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 David, 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 always. David. I will say to you, look. You have to understand. Now I try to speak to you intellect. I try to speak to you intellectually, but you can see clearly intellectually. I have respect. I'm not trying to disrespect you. You're not there because if you do accept that non-existent can bring me into existence, which is illogical, ir irrational, because like saying. Shamsi is a non-existent, but he gave a money to what you have called Sa'ad. Sa'ad, he gave money to Sa'ad. But Shamsi doesn't even exist. That is illogical. But you believe it's possible. Therefore, Allah, we know Allah said, Ittaqunnar. Fear the fire, which is fuel, which is uh, full with the, uh, the, the stones and the human beings. That's how I answer you. That the thing as God no, has that's been it. there always, then the world could also have been always. No, no, it's not because Why? we can see the clouds coming into existence and not exist. We can see the tree coming into existence. Maybe the clouds was there always. No, you can the see, definition. bro. The no. clouds is not there to begin with. To be honest, it's a waste of time now. It's a waste of time because Why is it a waste of time? because if you do accept there's possibility, yeah. non-existent yeah. can create something. Yeah. Do you accept that? It might be a possibility. Yeah, take care of yourself. Really yeah, take care of yourself. Now I can speak to you seriously. That's what Allah in the Quran sometimes utilize psychological arguments. It takes on the psychological argument because intellectual argument doesn't exist, doesn't work with him anymore. If you believe there's a non-existent can bring something into existence, therefore there's no point speaking. To you, may Allah guide you, David. Hadakallah. Okay, take care of yourself. And I know deep down, you know that doesn't make any sense. But because we are debating here and there's a cameras, you're saying yes, it can happen. Deep down, outside speaker's corner, you know that it's irrational, irrational, irrational it's illogical. Irrational for humans. If I don't exist, I can't create something. Of course. But we don't know anything about nature. By definition, uh, David, by definition, human exists or not, by definition, non existence means something that doesn't exist whatsoever. The human definition. A non existent concept. Okay, so which definition are you going to speak? Uh, animal definition? We don't know. Like, we don't uh, know. Take care of yourself. Of That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. Allah in the Quran. Have you noticed in the Quran, my brothers and sisters, many people, sometimes you see them spending hours speaking to people who, deep down, they reject the truth clearly and they're still speaking about intellectual argument. No. You have to step to another argument, which is psychological argument, which the Quran is used. If the man is here standing in front of cameras and he's telling me non existent, Bro, non-existent. It's like Shamsi doesn't exist. He gave, he created, he made a car. But Shamsi doesn't exist, no. 
هداك الله الله يهديك والله تبارك الله ما لا قادو ذاتس واي ان ذا قران ان سانتس الله يوتيلايز سايكولوجيكال ارجيمنت فور اكزامبل وين ذا ارا بيجنز ذي سيت تو بروفايد محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم برينج ذيس ميركو الله سانتس دازن انسر وين الله انسر باي واي تيل ذيم تو فير ديف جادجمنت تيل ذيم تو فير موت بيكوز يو دونت نو يو ار نوت يو ار مينت يو هاف تو كيور يور سيلف فروم ذا ديزيز ذات يو هاف اريجنز اند اذر ديزيزز ان اوردر تو اكسبت ذا انتلكشوال ارجيمنت ويش ذا قران از يوزد والحمد لله